high three to give us a second overtime. Oh, this is that play. They throw it to Blake Griffin at the elbow, and he'll fake the kick back to Chris Paul. Here it comes. There it is. Turn to the goal. Oh, into the corner to Reddick. And a foul is called. And you know what? They, they had probably the had give. that foul to give. Why is Blake not shooting that ball? The Clippers do not have another timeout. They ran the play to get Blake the exact shot. The and play from, we saw last year. And from six feet away, he's leaping and passing the ball. That's a mistake. 2.6 seconds to go now. Blake Griffin will turn. Shoot a three for the win. Bounce. It goes. He got it. He got it. The Clippers win. It goes. <laughs> Can you believe it? The wildest finish in years. The ball bounces in for a win. Doc Rivers over here at the scoring table making sure this is going to be three. We thought it was three. Here, here it is again. We're going to watch it. Blake Griffin. Oh, he steps behind. Oh, Holy smokes. <laughs> what a bounce. What a bounce. It doesn't have enough trajectory to go in, does it? It hits the front of the rim. I guess it's his night. Man, oh, man. His second three of the game is not official yet. Tom Washington takes off. Now it's a three-point basket. Clippers win. It's official. One of the most unlikely finishes you'll ever see in a regular season NBA game. <laughs> Steve Bomber, the owner of the ball club. Blake Griffin. An heroic performance. Finishes with 45 points in the basketball game. But his three-pointers that bounces high and falls.